start recording. Hello. All right. So, what we did is we, I mean, you guys haven't even seen this. Oh, Jesus. That thunder is, is that thunder? That's thunder. There's thunder and outside, guys. So, I've built this little pretty park right here. Um, and what we're going to do today is we're going to modify the park and try to expand it all around here. Make sure it's a big, super cool theme park. Out of what we have here. Now, what I have done today is I've um, I've made it so that you can use expeditions, which is uh, interesting, you could say the least. Um, so we'd like expedition for dinosaurs in order to uh, get gain their DNA and gain their fossils and stuff so let's see what do we want next what do you guys think would fit well in a small enclosure like this I'm trying to imagine what would look good in here first of all what would look in here is some rocks we need some nature man um, first up let's spread a little flowers around here and then I have to have it a carnivore exhibit, I think, because there's goats always already running around. Um, actually, I should put you know I should I should put the monolophosaurus in here, man. That probably would have been a good idea. So we'll put some uh, rocks here, and then inside those rocks we will put like palm trees and stuff sticking out. So boom. Boom, 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 and then we can have some palm trees on the side, have this leaning in a bit, there we go, alright, I need to pull up my stream on Twitch, guys, I am not used to this, <laughs> I am not used to this, I haven't done this in a hot minute, alright, here we go. Um, let's turn on my volume so you guys don't hear myself in the background. That would be pretty bad, pretty bad. All right. Now why did I turn on my volume? Okay. So I just transported the monolophosaurus in here. I want to see their color patterns. And also, I would, if you guys could put some name recommendations in Shad, that'd be nice. But let's start off with like Gary. And, um, this guy kind of looks like Blue, except if he was a Monolophosaurus, or she was a Monolophosaurus. So let's name her Blue. So we got two names already for the Monolophosaurus. We got uh, Gary and Blue. But if we could have some name recommendations in chat, that'd be wonderful. Uh, we need to put some tables around here, and then we also need to think what would look good in this small curved enclosure right next to us because this enclosure is going to be filled with small carnivores has to be small carnivores There we go. And then boom, 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 boom. Add some pizzazz to it, you know. And then, okay, let's... What dinosaur would look in here? It has to be a small carnivore. Or medium carnivore. I definitely vote small carnivore. Put a food dispenser there. Um, let's check out Expedition Center and see what we got. Chandrasaurus now. Minmai. 
Nope. One Pro Stratosaurus. Ooh, nah. I don't really like the Pro Stratosaurus. Compi is not nah, too small. That's kind of silly to have them in a cage like that. We already have Monolophosaurus. We can go for Velociraptor. Nah, cause I want to save that for like the end of the park. Ooh, Coelophysis might be good. Let's do Coelophysis. Um. But next, we have Nizutoceratops available and Carnotaurus available, but we're gonna save them for later, and we are gonna fill up this biodome over here. Again, name recommendations would be wonderful for the dinosaurs, so if anybody has name recommendations, please put that in chat. That'd be much appreciated. And kind of line these, line these up on the other side. Trying to see it as best as possible. And we can put uh, trees on either side of this. Oh, God. That's really annoying. Stop it. And then we can line this with plants. You know. And then we can line this with other plants. And then same with this one. We can line this one with uh, some palm trees. And then we'll line this side with, what are these? Just large tree? Okay. Let's see if we can fit four. We can't fit four. And then we'll do the classic tropical tree. And then we'll do a smaller one of these like trees. Now let's see what this looks like from first person. Because it's supposed to be, look like a greenhouse. That doesn't look bad. Can't say it looks good, but it certainly doesn't look bad. I'm not gonna complain. If for Jurassic World Evolution, especially on a tropical area where you don't have like these crazy trees to like biodomes, it's certainly not that bad. It's certainly not that bad. Um, yeah. Okay. Let's check on the Monolophosaurus. And do I want to put more in here? How many do we have? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. I don't know why it says 16 somewhere. Or like, yeah, 16. What? Hmm. That's weird. Let's make a couple more model officers. And we'll put them on random patterns, which means we can just begin that task. Is that aggressive? No, it's just intolerance, so we're okay. We don't want any aggressive ones, because then they'll get in battles, and we don't like that. We don't like that at all. Alright. And, um... And we can transport these guys. Next up is the fossils. We need to view those and extract the coelophysis. Boom, boom. Yeah, we're good. And and then we can transport these into the Monolophosaurus enclosure. Do, 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 do. All right, perfect. Coelophysis is available, but we want to be max DNA so we can get the max modifications on it. 75% isn't bad, but let's keep extracting. Should probably get us to the top. And then 
I want to obviously add some um, some herbivores in here. So I'm thinking Dreadnoughtus. Dreadnoughtus is a great deal. Speed up time a bit, and let's see if what our things looking like. 93%. That's that should give us max modifications on there. Um, and for Celephysis, I'm thinking I want to make them all the same color. Do I want to go into Species Viewer? No, no, I'm good. Mm, now we'll make it. We'll make it random. Screw it. And then there's no disease anyway, so let's just make them super social and maybe a bit more fit. That was quick. Skittish, skittish. Good, and that's ten. Ooh, that is a lot of Celophysis. We're gonna wait for the Monolophosaurus to be complete, complete, and then. Oh wow. <laughs> we got like no Dreadnoughtus and just a bunch of stuff to sell. That's kind of disappointing. But again, that was like what, labeled eight for eight. That's a lot of DNA. That'll get us yeah, fifty three percent immediately just by extracting those three. That's actually crazy. Um, let's make the enclosure first, obviously, and then continue to extract. Now, next up, I want to add a path that kind of leads through here. There's a path over here we can exit from, or we can exit from the path over here. Yeah, let's do that. So, I want to align this. And then... A curve. And what I'm thinking of doing is then we bring in the tour, the tour truck. And we bring it throughout basically this entire area. And practically this entire area will just be, um, Practically this entire area would just be for the tour. I'm going to add heavy fence. This DPG fence I just recently figured out looks actually surprisingly good. And I actually like it a lot. Because if it's... The bottom of the fence is like... A large... Uh, I don't know what to describe it as. Um... I don't know. But uh, we have this big lob here. I'm going to change this because I don't want it to be perfect, you know. Nothing's perfect. We can't make it just perfectly straight. I want it to um, at least curve a bit, you know. That's good. Now let's finish the track tour. And let's actually delete this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it down the middle, right back up, curve it around, bring it down, and boom. So you have this very like exotic shape, but it's okay because that we don't we don't care we don't care. Actually, no, let's not make this water. What I'm thinking of doing is we can make this a hill. So... This will be like a hill... Kind of... 
labeling the interior of where this path is. The um, tour track. Yep. And then we can kind of flatten it once it gets up here. There we go. And flatten it so that the track does not mess with the hills. There we go. And smoothen this part out just a bit. And recently in the Dominion news, we saw that Dreadnoughtus was enjoying a large bath in some water. So what I'm thinking of doing is filling a lot of this enclosure up with just water. Even though, honestly, that's probably what I'm going to do with the Parasaurolophus as well. Because the Parasaurolophus, for specifically Parasaurolophus Lux, those per um, parasaur Parasaurs, um... They also like water, the Parasaurolophus Lux. So, um, yeah. It's kind of a label where the track is by bringing it around with the dirt. And bring it up. And then right back around. Same here, we continue to outline it with, or not outline, but cover the track with dirt. How's everybody's day going? Is everybody's day going good? Nah, I hope I hope everybody's day is going well, and I hope everybody's excited for Easter. I certainly am, because I get to load myself up with jelly beans and see my family, which is going to be awesome. We can load this up with forest and leaves. Let's make this a one radius. There we go. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And then over here we can make this... Do I want to make it like sandy on the... Yeah, let's make it sandy here. And then kind of like filled with dirt. In the middle. Two should be good. Yeah, that's good. And make this grass, because we don't want to make it look too shallow. The Dreadnoughtus is a tall dinosaur, so it being able to s stand in that water and still show the most top of its body, if you guys did see the clip, that means that the water must not be too shallow. Obviously, add some foliage, because no, I haven't seen a single bit of land without an no foliage at all. Like, even planes have some foliage. And then, um, and not the vehicle, the biome, planes. <laughs> um, we can add some tropical trees in the middle. And maybe some of these, like, I want to call them, like, berry trees, but they're not berry trees. I just always thought those little branches were berries, but they aren't. And I just recently realized that when I was placing them in the dome. I got a, I got a good look at them. They're not they're not berries, so that's that's interesting. This is actually a good spot to place the little thing here as well. The what's it called? The what I call it? Um, why can't I think of what it's called? Um. Ranger Outpost, that's what it's called. <sighs> yep. And then we can place the torches down on specifically this side. My OCD would go off because you can't place it here. I don't think. Actually, no, you can. Good. Good, 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 good. So we have our little gate. And then we do want to attach the path. That probably would be a smart idea. <laughs> How else would the guests get to the tour? I 
And then I do want to line this fence with very intently with um with the path. And then we'll just like kind of cut it off here. Do I want to fill that in with dark gray path? Why do I want to fill that in with dark gray path? I'll post a tour of this park on my channel on YouTube because I feel like it. Um, but I'll, uh, that sounds kind of rude, but you, you know what I mean. Because um, cause I feel like it, you know. But um, I do tours for most of my parks, so it, it'd be logical to do one for this one as well. There, that is a tree. That is a that is a tree. So um, we don't want that on our path. <laughs> Let, let's get rid of that. I like no, that's not gonna work. Crap, 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 crap. Okay, so I'm going to have to turn this into what the path looks like, just to make it seem reasonable. And then, actually, you know what I'm going to do? There is leaf on that path. Yeah, let's, let's, get, uh, let's get rid of that. That was probably a bad idea. <laughs> that was probably a really bad idea. Alright. Yeah, but again, name suggestion for the dinosaurs. I have been asking for that, and that is... A great idea to just give me some name suggestions, you know? It would be much appreciated. Unless I'm talking to myself, which in that case, I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> Let's place a fountain, a fountain I cannot speak. And some lanterns, of course, or lights, whatever you want to call it. Some pylons, tables and chairs, whatever. Kind of outlining or inlining, I don't know, the uh, the path here, and then we can place, I don't know, some amber here and some amber here, kind of slowly narrowing down to the size of this. Actually, no, I have a better idea. We can add the, th the thing here, and then there, boom. And then we can place a light down here with a smaller fountain there. And actually, let's take away that light. That doesn't make it, that doesn't really look good. So that's kind of like our little guest attraction there. Obviously, we do need to add some more forest and foliage to the equation. So let's add some, I don't know, um, what are they called? Palm trees. And then some sand, of course. You know, you, you need your sand. And let's also start incubating the Dreadnoughtus because... That would be ideal. That would be ideal. Modify genome. Alright, so we do want them to be any color. Let's make them regular lived. And let's make them... Actually, the only thing I can really make them is social. I don't really care if they have a long, large appetite. And sh needy and short-lived don't matter because I have infinite lifespan and 
Uh, I have infinite lifespan. Oh, this only comes with one, alright, I'm gonna have to incubate multiple. I'm getting Jurassic World Evolution flashbacks. And you could only incubate one dinosaur at a time. Oh, that was dreadful. Dreadnoughtus. I my puns are terrible. I'm sorry guys. That that was so unnecessary and I that probably like made you lose brain cells just listening to that. <laughs> so just transporting the dinosaurs, that's all that matters. It's getting them into the enclosure. That's yeah, that's that's literally all that matters. Um stupid decorations, bro. I can't decorate my park and transport my dinosaurs. All right, we're gonna name Coelophysis one Cole because C O C O E. That's close enough to Cole. Bam. Let's, let's check up on the Monolophosaurus again. Hope that one of them's doing something goofy. Monolophosaurus twenty number twenty three. <laughs> I'm a I'm a zebra. All right, I'm gonna name this guy zebra. Zebra. Model of Source 8. Oh, I like this guy. This guy's got a cool pattern. Uh, stoned. <laughs> stoned. With the double D because he's stoned and he doesn't know how to spell. Stoned. Nope, nope, nope. Jeez. What? Bruh. I can't even get in your enclosure. Can I, like... I could probably scan you from there if I... Hmm. Let me see. There he is. Give that mofo a medical scan. Concussion? Damn, how'd you get a concussion? Did you, Were you birthed wrong? <laughs> were you transported poorly? <laughs> like, how'd you get a concussion, right? Like, you were literally just birthed. <laughs> Man, this guy's got a tough life. Alright, additional MVU and task scheduling. And let's also speed up time. Pick up that Dreadnoughtus and transport the next one in. Now next up for the Dreadnoughtus is what I, w I want to do is I want to add some rocks sticking out of the, uh, the ponds and the lakes. Uh, blocking the perfect view of the dinosaurs from the guests. So if you want to see it all, you have to pay extra prices. <laughs> Business. Dreadnoughtus 2, you're pretty green. I'm going to call you Lettuce. Lettuce. Boom. And the final Dreadnoughtus will be transported over here. Ah, the peaceful music. So beautiful. And then we can add some flowers around here. Yas, yas. And then some leafy climbers. Yas. You love it, you love it. Some fibrous ground cover, you know? Kind of looks like you're putting, uh... Some of the plants look like you're putting noodles on the ground. I don't know why. <laughs> Dreadnoughtus 3. Oh, yeah, I like this pattern. What beautiful dinosaurs. Are they, inter are they socializing? No, they're not. All right. Are you trying to climb that hill? That's a terrible idea for your posture, my guy. Ah, whatever. You have fun with that. <laughs> you have fun with that. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. 
Oh, of course we need to add the uh, tour sign. That is, like, basically mandatory. We could say that Jurassic Tour is this way. And then we can curve off to a guest center over here. Right. Uh, I mean, we don't have, actually we don't have much space, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a bunch of... Uh, what's it called? I'm just going to make a straight path real quick. Hold up. There we go. Boom, boom. And we can delete this now. <laughs> we can delete this now. And curve this into there. And make a, a large guest uh, section proving that this is wrong. And proving that amenity coverage is indeed not low. Now what I do want to do is I want to figure out a way to make the path look cool. So like this will just be all path. And then we'd have like little curves going through it, you know. Like this, I think. I don't know. You guys tell me how you like that. <clears throat> and then we can do the same for over here. And now let's see if this... Oh, it doesn't. Perfect. Oh, wait, no, it does. Oh, boy. Oh, this is so bad. This is very bad. Alright, it's good enough. It doesn't look terrible, that's all that matters. <laughs> it doesn't look terrible. Personally, I like it a lot. Nah. Uh, we gotta place another torch there, and then we can move on with our lives. Alright. Next up is placing the shops. That is kind of mandatory. That's one. Now let me see if I can fit a second one. Can I? F I can't fit a second one, but I can fit a medium amenity. Right there. Let's see if we can fit a path in here. Cause if we can, that's kind of a bummer. Oh, are you kidding me? It might be a deal breaker if I can't get this to work. If 
if I can't get a medium amenity, I'm going to have to do small amenities, and that still takes up most of the space. Oof, that's not good. <laughs> that is not good at all. Uh, that's... Mm, boom. There we go. Let's speed up the process. That looks perfect. Like, I'm not even lying, it looks perfect. Alright, so let's just keep doing that. <laughs> let's keep doing that, I guess. Hmm, that's a problem. Now it's glitching. Whatever. Do, can I fit this path in here? Oh, come on, man. It's like the big path gets... Like, size doesn't matter, bro. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing with your life, bro? This game judges on path size. Like, size does not matter, guys. <laughs> size does not matter, remember that. Come on, man. Can't do me like that. Uh, Alright, well, we got a cool design, and that's all that matters. Way, 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 way. Dinosaurs fighting. Hold the front door. Who was fighting and where? Who was fighting and where, bro? Okay, I guess not. Um, let's add some decorations in between these. Uh, I guess we can add some skull features. That looks lit. You know, and turn that around and place that there, and then no, I don't think fountains will work on here one on this one. And then I have a very perfect path piece. Never mind, I have a very not perfect path piece for that. And that's good. And then we can place some circular planters where they intersect and where they end. And then obviously some pylons. gotta have your seating, you know? And then use the move tool to move that right there. So we have our little guest section here. I did my best. <laughs> you can't really do any better unless actually can I fit decorations in here to make it look to tap oh you can. Good, good, good. I like that. Cause now I can make it just fit a bit better. And I I very much mean a bit. Let me see if I can fit the trees in this. Oh my gosh, you just can. That is so perfect. It doesn't look like 100%. That kind of looks weird, but it is what it is. 
I'll customize those buildings off stream so you guys don't have to get bored out of your mind. Alright, these guys need status checks. Dude, Cole, why is Cole fighting Seal Physis 5? Okay. Well, someone said. Uh, what, what does it say? Cole? Really? No, no, no. No, 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 no. We're not putting. <laughs> so put something else in chat. Uh, let's see. Reggie Bet. I don't even know if that's how you spell. No, I think that's Reggie. Reggie. There you go. For whoever wanted Reggie, you're welcome. <laughs> Let's start looking for more dinosaurs. A cla Obviously, we're going to go for the classic. We're going to go for some Triceratops. Let's see. Triceratops and Stigmolic. Those are two very good dinosaurs. Very beautiful dinosaurs. And it's already complete. Wow. Cell, boom, 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 boom. Begin task. So we have Triceratops to 53% and Stiggy to 47%. So we'll get Triceratops by the time that's done, which is now. Yep. Perfect. And we go back on our next expedition for... This is, this one's good. And now that that's off, let's. And now that it's back, um, first of all, let's make sure there are no trees touching the path, because that is unnatural in every single way. And then let's bring this path outward. And then we can connect these two paths. I'm going to expand this a bit. With a little guest, or not guest, intersection, but some little, some path art, you know. Hmm, nope. Doesn't look right. Maybe, uh... So say, how are you at low health? What's at low health? Oh, God. Alright, um... Direct control... Where is he? Out of... bro. Okay, first of all, yeah. Where is the in low condition? Oh, 
Oh crap. Don't tell me don't tell me we're stuck. Oh boy. Um That's not good. Which one's low health? This guy. Reggie. No, I want to... Oh, oh boy, I'm blocking the... Uh... Alright, Reggie. Organ trauma, crap. He's gonna die. He's gonna fucking die, bro. We can't have that in our park. Quick, boost Reggie's health. Not that other guy. Boost Reggie. Nope. Reggie. He's a direct target, bro. Move. Eh. All right, quick. I gotta transport Reggie over, and you can wait a bit. Cause you should take like a couple seconds, literally. There we go. So we're going to fill that in with some path and then have enclosures on each side. Oh boy. Come on, come on, come on, come on. And boom. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Actually, what I'm thinking of doing is putting some lagoons. Over in this area. Because sod it. And then we'll fill this in with luxurious, luxurious path this time. Because we want our guests to bouge out in the uh I don't know lagoon area of the park. Alright, so that's filled, and then we'll finish that in a second. Uh, Lagoon Hatchery. I'll go right here. No, it will go right. I'll go right there. And then the viewing galleries, of course, will go. There together. Oh boy. Okay, guys. Um, this is gonna be, have to be it. Unfortunately, I have to hop off. My computer is not not just about to die, but also, unfortunately, I'm about to get screen timed by my parents. So, unfortunately, that has interfered with the stream. I, I'm gonna be streaming tomorrow. At the end of the day, probably, unless I'm like way too tired. Um. But yeah, I think I'm going to end it here. I'm going to play some signs, of course. And we're going to end it here. 
Um, I hope everybody has an awesome night, an awesome Easter, and I'll see you ever. I'll see you beautiful people later. Bye bye.